Tonight, a group of refugee children are in Louisville vying for a world championship as the hope of their Civil War-torn nation. Thanks for staying with us here at 530. I'm Doug Proffitt. And I'm Renee Murphy. The recent travel ban made it more difficult for these Syrian students to get to the VEX IQ Challenge taking place this week at the Fair and Expo Center in Louisville. But they were given a very warm welcome today. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams was there when what an amazing parade you saw today. Yeah, you're going to see some of this video. It's really something else. Disney is shooting it. The violence in Syria forced this robotics team to nearby Lebanon, where their instructors are turning to technology and education to not only take their minds away from the Civil War, but to also be a source of hope for their nation and the generation enduring uncertain times. We saw a lot of cases in our school that some children lost mothers or fathers or sisters, that it's so difficult to deal in these cases. So our focusing now in education and psychosocial support to avoid our children from this impact of the war. Hope of Syria and their robot RoboG are working towards a world championship and trying to break the stereotype others may envision when they think Syrian refugee. I like uh, the competition of the robot uh, and uh, I, uh, I like uh, the many, many uh, uh, teams uh, and uh, I like them. Bright eyed, the boys represent a generation with an uncertain future. Back home, another nine teams compete locally, 100 students in all, with half of them being young girls. They work through a language barrier to cooperate with teams from around the world. Their coach is a neurosurgeon by trade. Now he's focusing on bringing educational opportunities to the refugees he lives with just outside of the Syrian border. And to inspire our children to taking care about technology and education and not taking care about just the basic needs. While many of the booths at the VEX IQ Challenge are decorated with cute signs and balloons, some wear costumes, this team's booth is different with artwork by children in the war-torn land halfway around the world. The contest and elaborate opening ceremonies is an escape. Syria! It saw the young men receive a warm welcome, cheering. A sign that their efforts to win over hearts is working even before the contest begins. It was like being at a rock concert. The team said it was difficult to get a visa considering the U.S. travel restrictions, but they were able to work with the embassy in Lebanon to secure travel documents.